there are a couple of factors that I would take into consideration. When she's young, um, she's got a long neck, she's not obese, so that you can get pretty far down into the mediastinum from a neck incision uh, in those kind of patients with a good shoulder roll. Putting, you really have to position them well yourself in the OR. Um, but you can go pretty far down with those. And it's classic papillary. Um, because it's cystic and all that. And so the risk of vascular invasion is, is very low. I would say I wouldn't worry about at invading the vessels at all. Usually that, that comes very, very nicely off the vessel walls. So maybe I'm wrong, but I, I actually wouldn't get a thoracic surgeon in there. Um, if sometimes I do use, uh, I would say, you know, maybe we'll do a manibriotomy. I use a mandibular swing. You can take out the upper part of the manibrium with the uh, clavicular joint and the clavicle, and you can sort of swing the clavicle up and get a little bit more space and get a little bit further down. And that's a nice compromise between, you know, the sternotomy and all that. So if you really need to, and I would probably, you know, warn the patient that that's what's going to happen.